Assalamu alaikum dear viewers, my name is Usher Ahmed, I'm from the Durham Jamaat and today I'm going to be talking about how electricity works. I was really excited about this topic so I decided to choose it. So, we all depend on electricity in countless ways <laughs> and a lot of people find electricity um, mis maybe a mis mysterious and maybe a bit scary but it's no mystery, it's science. To understand electricity, you have to look close, really, really close. Electrical circuits like the one in the light switch um, work because of the way electrons behave. And to look at electrons, first you have to look at atoms. Atoms are made of three different teeny tiny particles. The, the protons, which are these, the neutrons, um, and are clumped together in the center of the atom and electrons buzzing in a sort of cloud. So now, in some, in some materials, electrons can escape by hopping to one another, uh, one atom to another. It's these hopping electrons which make all the electrical gadgets in our life possible. Moving electrons power everything from calculators to cell phones to microwave ovens. Take a look around your house and imagine all the wires full of hopping electrons whizzing all around you. An electric charge. Each electron has a pro a, a, each electron and proton has a teeny tiny electric charge. Protons have a positive charge and electrons have a negative charge. Now I will explain how the circuits work. Did you know it's possible to count, connect the same components in different ways? In fact, that's exactly what you do with the light switch. Both circuits light up the um, light. But if you look closely, you'll find electrons within them follow different paths. A series circuit, which is this, can only take one path up here to over here. Um, a parallel circuits, in a parallel circuit, the electrons don't all take the same path. So, um, in this circuit, the, um, the electric current splits here. Some electrons take the red path and some electrons take the green path. Of course, the circuits uh, that power something like a calculator are much more complicated. Okay, so I'm back from look working, um, from looking for a project and I found this lantern I can make. So we'll start by grabbing one of these. I got these pre-made and then getting some copper tape and putting it down on here. So I got the strips here and now I'm gonna connect it with these. So I'm gonna put these wires here. Okay, so I connected these, these to this copper tape. So it's basically like a circuit. And now I'm going to be connecting this 9 volt, 9V battery to this. Okay, so I got this connected to this, uh, which is connected to a 9 volt battery. So I've got these plas this plastic disc, so I can put the LED light in like this, through the two holes. And now I'm going to bend these like this, right here. So then... I just do that and then I grab two pieces of copper tape so now I'm gonna put these together so the to see if the light actually works oh it actually works okay so now we're moving on to the lat the shape of the lantern so I got these this pyramid that I'm gonna make right here these are to stick the things. So you got it like this. I'm gonna fold it like this. Like this. So now that you got this, I will just take off this strip so it could stick on. So now that I got that, you see this circuit over here. I will put this pyramid on top of it. And you got your oh you got yourself a lantern.
Thank you guys for listening to my presentation. I hope you had a lot of fun and you learned a lot too. I certainly did. 